Hi guys, it's Kitty. I'm going to start this week's grocery haul with a little Trader Joe's haul and then I will put my regular grocery haul and my meal plan next. But I went to Trader Joe's by myself. Well, the little one was with me, but um, so there's no beer. There's no beef jerky. I did get some chocolate for my husband. Um, but we'll start over here. I got some Jozos. Um, I got this I think last time I went to Trader Joe's, used it for pasta salad. I really like it. This radiator pasta is something that my mom would make when I was a kid. We used it, you know, with red sauce and all sorts of stuff. And I just like it. It just feels really fun in your mouth. So I got another one of those. Some dried mango. Some chocolate for me. And this one's missing a bar. That's curious. Chocolate for my husband. I got some more cashew pieces, mostly for um, recipes. So I make cashew cream with this and use it in place of cream or dairy in recipes. I got some fresh black figs. There's figs coming on our fig trees, but these were, I think these were only $4 for all of these figs, so that would be a nice treat for us. I got this, I think I've tried this kind before, but I'd like to try new teas. I got these taco shells, not for this week, but um, I thought I'd give them a try. They, I think they were like $1.99 for organic taco shells, so Always nice to have in the pantry so I can make tacos because some reason the week I want to make tacos I go to like H Mart or something where they don't sell taco shells. This I've gotten before. It's very delicious and it is actually sourdough bread. Um, and the ingredients are pretty clean but a lot of sourdough breads if you get them at grocery stores or I don't know, maybe even bakeries, but they're just regular bread recipes that they add citric acid to give sort of a sour tang to. Um, but there's no citric acid in this at all. It's just actually sourdough, so that's nice. I got this. I don't really need it, but it was only $1.49, which was a, a decent price, so I just grabbed it. I got these crackers. Oh, these are crackers. That was tea. I got these crackers. Um... And then I got some uncured ham and some smoked salmon. That's mostly for snacks, and I'm going to probably use a lot of the ham at breakfast time. I um, have very high protein goals <laughs> right now, and I'm having trouble hitting them, even eating meat in my other two meals a day. So I'm trying to put more protein in my breakfast and my snacks. And then the last thing I got were these corn chips. These are for the taco salad. I had gotten other tortilla chips that I was just going to use, but since I saw these, they were um, they were there, so I went ahead and got them. Those are the kind we usually use in taco salad. You run it off with my receipt. Now I'll give you a quick look at the receipt, and then stay tuned. I'll put the rest of my grocery haul and meal plan next. All right, guys, I'm back. Still don't have a meal plan. We went uh, to the farmer's market, got these things at the farmer's market, and then we went and ate lunch at H Mart, and I can't not walk through the produce department, so I got some things at H Mart. Um, but we still haven't done our regular grocery shopping, so it's going to be a long grocery haul this week. But I thought I'd show you what I got at the farmer's market. I got six years of corn and these two beautiful peppers. I mean, look at that. Beautiful pepper. It's 50 cents. So, um... Red, red or green, all the colors were 50 cents. Then my husband picked out kettle corn. And then here at H Mart, I got celery. The cucumbers were two for a dollar. Got some plums, um, some seaweed sheets just for snacking on. Uh, pineapple. This is something my husband picked out. I don't know anything about it. Uh, watermelon, cilantro. I want to make some salsa with my tomatoes. And these are radishes and bananas. This um, I've never seen before or tried before. It's called a Gaia melon. G-A-Y-A. -A. It was $1.29, so I'll uh, report back and let you know <laughs> what it's like, but I thought I would try it. It's, I don't think it's ripe. It doesn't have much of a fragrance, and it's not soft anywhere, so I might just let it sit on my counter for a little while till we're ready to try it, but I was interested in it, and it was, like I said, $1.29, so can't go wrong, <laughs> even if it's not great. All right, that's everything. I will uh, put, hopefully I won't go to another grocery store before I go to my actual grocery store shopping for the week. Here's the last little bit of my grocery haul. I went to Aldi and uh, I just needed a few things because I've been to grocery stores all weekend long. So I'll start with my meal plan. Um, the first two items are actually carried over from last week. So we'll have kimchi fried rice with pancake. Uh, like a scallion pancake and then pizza. I'm getting more and more intimidated about grilled pizza so 
I don't know, I might try it. Um, from what I'm seeing though, the grilled pizzas are more like flatbread, so you grill the dough, which looks easy enough, it just takes a few minutes. And then you just put like a little bit of sauce, a little bit of cheese, maybe some like pre-cooked vegetables like caramelized onions or something. But the way I make my pizzas, I really load them down with lots of veggies, usually like raw veggies and things like that. Um, and I just don't know. Also, I don't know that I could cook three pizzas on my grill really, really easily. So um, it's getting a little cooler around here. I might just do pizzas in the oven. I was also thinking maybe I would just do like pita bread pizzas. <laughs> that way I can, um, you know, not have to worry about the dough getting cooked or getting overcooked and then the toppings not getting cooked and things like that. I just need to worry about the toppings and uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, sloppy joes and corn, dirty rice, grilled chicken on salad with bread. So probably just grilled chicken breasts. Probably pre-cook those and then just throw them on top of the salad for a quick light meal. Pozole is a Mexican pork and hominy stew. And then sausage quinoa one pot. I saw that is on the Whole Foods YouTube channel. Um, and then sweet potatoes. I don't know, I might do sweet potatoes like baked in the crock pot or maybe just steamed or something. But I thought that this dish needed just a little bit something more to round it out. All right, so here's what I got at Aldi. I got a bunch of milk again um, for everybody else. And then I did go ahead and buy some almond milk for me. I usually make mine, but I don't know. It's feeling lazy. I also <laughs> bought some ketchup. I got one extra, so I'll always have one in the pantry. I got some romaine lettuce. I had run out of onion powder. Watermelon was $3.99, so I went ahead and got that. Um, some mandarin oranges. These usually are a better price through the winter, but these are actually pretty good. $2.49 for three pounds, so anytime they're under 99 cents a pound, I like to get them because my little one really likes these and she can do it all herself, so it's so, you know, easy for me. <laughs> and then um, some bananas. They were also a little bit cheaper. I think they were 29 cents. I actually am going through my freezer, pulling a bunch of stuff out, um, and I have like multiple batches of bananas in the freezer. I have some bananas here on the counter that need to be used up and two watermelons. Yes, I have three watermelons all at the same time. Um, and anyway, so I'll be making some banana bread. I'm hopefully going to be able to do a food prep this week. So um, I might try banana bread in the crock pot on that food prep. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday at noon for my next grocery haul. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.